like I said, I, I don't believe that everyone is called to that higher education. What I mean by is like masters obviously bachelors doctorates right but we're called to love the lord with all of our mind now when we do learn these things what are some things that we're supposed to share teach or even pass on to the next generation yeah a knowledge of god knowledge of god yeah yeah god desires to be known mm. um he desired he saved us for that very reason according to jesus in john 17 3 uh, and this is eternal life that they may know you. And that's not just a, a cerebral activity, right? But that they may know you, um, that's relational. Mm -hmm. But there's a reason that the relationship is called knowing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. um, there's there's an awareness and understanding uh, that's actually part and parcel with a relationship. If uh, If I didn't know my wife, Somebody could say, yo, you don't even know what she likes. Mm. Y'all don't really have a relationship, right? There's, there's not a closeness or intimacy between mm. y'all. Um, so certainly knowing God. knowing God, And that's not talked about enough. A lot of times we'll pass on what God has done for us, what God has done for others. Um, but not too often are we actually sharing with others. And I, I don't mean just us. I'm just talking about in general. You don't hear it too often where someone is sharing what God is like or who he is, mm. yep. his attributes. That's right. It's much more popular and maybe even less offensive to talk about what he's done rather than who he is. That's right. Because his works describe who he is, but who he is breaking down each attribute. I think that might get a little bit more offensive nowadays talking about his holiness yeah, being they, how yeah. perfect he is and all of those things right there because it's it's almost it's almost uh a lot easier to say something like god delivered me from my troubles god saved me from my sickness mm -hmm. but to say god is righteous and then break down how he is righteous and what r his righteousness looks like and why we are not righteous you know what i mean like yeah. <laughs> without him we can't even get close to who he is as a person yeah and that's why the you know the gospel is called the first importance right to it communicates uh clearly who god is mm -hmm. uh those attributes of god it's impossible to separate those from the gospel uh and those are the very an understanding of who god is as he has revealed himself in the gospel believing that saves us mm -hmm. right um pu putting faith in the god that you're describing who is infinitely holy infinitely righteous mm. uh hates evil perfectly and yet is also merciful and gracious and slow to anger and abounds in steadfast love and faithfulness so much so that he sent his son to endure the justice and judgment that we deserve mm. to actually know those things by faith produces results in rather it, eternal life mm -hmm. um that is the means that that god is uh yeah. given to save us in in the gospel so knowing god primarily as he is in the gospel um yeah. and then you know yeah scripture yeah. all yeah. things biblical n know all things biblical yeah the knowing uh in the gospel of john especially that there's this belief this ascent like you can believe that Jesus did what he did, but not know Jesus. That's right. You know what I mean? So it, it when you really get specific on that, it really puts on blast people's sin, their separation from God. And that's the very thing people don't want to hear. Mm -hmm. um, but it's the truth and his holiness, his righteousness, everything. You know, um, the gospel, I think, is the message that gets into detail about who he is, what and what he has done. You know what I'm saying? It talks about all that. So when, when you present the gospel, it, it shows who God is. It shows you what God did. And it also shows you your sin. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. your need for a savior. You know, so I, and that, you know, that's why a lot of mega, mega church pastors don't preach it. Because mm -hmm. it, it's, it's like it'll drive people. John 6, you know what I mean? When you see who Jesus is, 
uh, and he speaks in terms that are offensive, which are true, then the people that are naturally minded, they'll, they'll hate it, you know, they'll run from it, you know? So, and the natural mind cannot understand the things of God. It can't discern it. You know what I mean? It's offensive to them. So, um, I think the gospel, yeah, the gospel is just that, that message, man. Um, amen. Yeah. Amen.